welcome to Silver Shares here. I hope you're doing good. So as it is on Monday and we talk about wellness and uh, health, I just wanted to discuss something that is more like personal, but that would probably help somebody else going through the same problem. And um, I consider health uh, like very important and that's the reason why I decided to discuss this problem and everything. But apart from just all other health uh, issues and uh, problems that people may go through, there is one that you know matters in the sense that when you're not feeling okay in your body, there's something maybe you're not liking about your body. And as much as we are told to love ourselves and have self-love, have self-care and appreciate everything and all, well, at times, you know, you just feel, I wish I could change this or I wish I could, you know, maybe look better. But as long as you're not comparing yourself to somebody else or uh, thinking that you have to look like the girls in the magazine, well, we can't all resemble each other. And it's good that we actually have different uniqueness that is just special. Otherwise, if we all resembled each other, it would be boring, right? So we have all types and everything. But why I say uh, personal, it's dealing with the weight, for example. On my side, I cannot lie, I am like, like a like a like a bouncing castle <laughs> whereby you know you're going like the valley and 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 the seas and also you go up you go down and um you know you find yourself you're working out like crazy you are almost like barely eating you're seeing doctors and doctors you have tried all those remedies that you're hearing on tv you're hearing from people and you go like damn it i just can't take it anymore you know the next day you're going on the weighing scale and you're just feeling like damn after all the efforts i've done like wow why isn't it just changing why you know why isn't it you know becoming better like the way i want it to be well um this has been my journey i cannot lie uh since last year i put on like 15, eight, 15, 18 kilos. Well, thanks COVID <laughs> and being in the house, but I can't put it all on the fault of COVID and everything. Well, you know, you when things are low, you're working from the indoors, you're not walking as much, you're not moving so much around and everything. And hey, I mean, you take also comfort in food and if you don't work out, uh, the weight, you know, just keeps adding and adding and, you know, you can't do so much about it. But um, I just wanted to give a word to somebody out there maybe who may be struggling and that maybe you've checked with your doctor and that they have not found probably like if it's a hormonal imbalance or but it's better to check so that you don't frustrate yourself so much because you could be weighing yourself down getting yourself frustrated and that's just how it's just not changing you know and despite the fact that in your mind you're telling yourself like hmm i am losing weight you're meditating on everything and you're telling yourself like mm, the 10 kilos are out mm, i'm gonna feel better but well it's still you know it doesn't change so much and everything so it kind of hurts but i just wanted to let you know that you're gonna be okay but the most important thing that you can do for yourself is to try and be happy I try to be happy and I try to remind myself that I'm beautiful. I try to tell it to myself so that I can, you know, shut down that those voices that are telling you like, mm, you've got so much weight. <laughs> but well, so, but I walk, I make sure I walk like so much. So having a watch that helps to be able to just, um, Take the steps, minimum steps, because you can put in tag into the into the watch and it tells you as per your weight, as per your height, like how many steps are you supposed to do per day. So if you can just respect this and if you can try and, you know, just make sure that you are taking at least minimum, minimum 5,000 steps per day, which would take like roughly maybe a, 
an hour or so um, if you're walking slowly if you're too heavy and everything but it would help like um, drastically so because it's also important that we just stay healthy as much as uh, we'd like to say like as long as you're happy as long as you're comfortable that's all that matters it is true but the fact of the matter is as we have seen COVID is taking mostly the most heavy people the most the people with you know diabetic problems and you know just weight problems and so you want to try and you know um, make sure that you're taking care of the body well because as they say it's the temple of the Lord and so you need to take care of it properly and so I think just try a walk around I have been biking a little bit and um, so I just thought that maybe we could sort of encourage each other maybe you can let me know in the comments if you have been going through the same challenge or anything of the sort but if we can work together probably we could perhaps we could actually motivate each other and uh, make sure that we are sort of like accountability partners <laughs> so that um not going to the extremes of you know like wanting to become skinny and all but just to maintain the perfect body balance as per your height and as per your weight it can be calculated and everything and this way you're maintaining just that level which enables you to just um keep them keep the momentum and you know just to stay completely healthy to live longer because we want to be able to appreciate this life and, and and get to enjoy more and more so just being able to be to feel comfortable in your skin to feel comfortable when you dress up I'm sure there are those clothes that you hide probably like me you know you're telling yourself like hmm I can't wait to get back inside you or something of a sort you know those motivating pants or motivating dresses that we just keep in the wardrobe and you know we are like kind of hoping like I hope things get better I hope I get to you know just uh, finally get rid of this weight and I'm back into into those clothes again because you know what you, ju you just want to feel happy and you know dazzling as you go out and 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 you know take a walk or something of yourself as long as you're doing it for yourself that's just like the most important thing so um, some of the changes that I have tried to do is I I stopped drinking uh, not stopped like I reduced drinking alcohol like from Monday to Thursday like I don't I don't drink not unless it's like exceptional um, evening party or something so which like I try to avoid <laughs> so I only drink like Friday Saturday and Sunday but not more than two three glasses on the max so those are some of the changes and then I have been um, taking long long walks like I walk an hour or an hour and a half like every day especially before I sleep I realize it's making me sleep so much better and it's like it feels really good so perhaps you could try it out and you know you just take a nice podcast in your ears and you know just enjoy enjoy the long walk it, it feels great or if you like biking I have also been biking a little bit but I only do honestly like 30 to 45 minutes my thighs are like aching <laughs> but it is interesting so perhaps you could try it out and um, I do a little bit of cardio but oof, my back did not like it at all so I have been having a bad backache since like a week and a half I think I did a lot of workout extreme at the, at the same time so I don't know or oh, swimming swimming is good apparently it works out the entire body and everything so i hope that we can be able to encourage each other i hope to hear some of your comments down 
and even suggestions that probably have worked for you and you would like to share with me I would really 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 appreciate and that we could um, we could look into working to become fabulous even if we feel fabulous already but you know just to feel completely comfortable in those pretty pants or pretty dresses that I miss so much I can't lie so until next time i really hope i'm gonna hear from some of you on the subject and that if you're going through the same thing just know you're not alone and that we're in this journey together and that we can be able to just feel comfortable so feel happy again and everything so until next time don't forget to leave love love and learn cheers